Shalom, it's always good to see you again. Welcome to Out of Africa Torah Session. My name is Tatra Cohen, and this week we are on the Torah portion Noah, and this is a very interesting Torah portion, as many of you already know. I'm sure across many cultures, people, groups, families, tribes, and nations, the story or the event that took place around Noah in that year is well known, well taught, well discussed. Debates, dramas, movies, songs, anything that you can think of has happened, especially in our generation. Well, I would like to assume by now almost everyone has somehow, to somewhat extent, has heard the message about Noah. Well, there's been a lot which has been said, even a lot to be said regarding Noah. But today, I just want us to take a closer look at the nature of sins which were committed, which actually caused the, the flood to come. Well, you know, when we are reading the story of Noah, or studying the story of Noah, or hearing even the preacher preach about the story of Noah, we are filled with so many imaginations and we think, wow, these people were so evil, these people were so violent and so forth. The Hebrew Bible tells us that the earth was full of Hamas. Of course, this is what we read in, Hebrew, in English, that uh, it was full of violence. Now, this violence, or the Hamas, the sins that are in the nature of Hamas, according to the rabbis, they tell us that these are sins like um, theft, uh, sexual sins, and um, murder, but most importantly, Kidnapping. Imagine kidnapping is actually some of the things that bringing the, the, the flood. The people are simply kidnapping each other and that brings about the flood. Now you would see from the onset that these things which they did or the sins which they committed are no way different from what we are committing today. The rabbis even go ahead to tell us that these were almost like what people call little sins or ordinary sins in our context today. Something not, not out of this world, but something that we even go through almost every day. And that exactly is what brought about the flood. Now, if we read towards uh, the, like the body of the whole story, our rabbis also say, like for example, what uh, Rashi finally says, he says, uh, 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 the passers-by would ask, what is this of yours? And Rashi continues to say, the reason why Noah would respond to each and every passerby who would ask, what is this you are doing? He would say, God shall send the flood hoping or anticipating that people, when they hear these words, they would repent. Unfortunately, like today, they too did not repent. So the story goes on until 120 years. Imagine we are told by our rabbis that Noah even planted the trees. The tr trees actually take so much time to grow. And after they had grown up this kind of acacia trees, Noah also started preparing each and every one of them to make the boat which God had instructed him. And all this seemingly taking time was the grace and the long sufferingness of God, hoping that people might somehow change. And this message sits very well in our generation today. You know, the reason why I chose this specific little talk with you it's because there are those sins which we're actually committing and we just think that they are small things, they are minor things. Those are the very things the people of Noah's generation actually committed. And in the eyes of the Lord, this was something unacceptable. And he gave them so much time to repent. Unfortunately, or obviously rather, the people did not repent. And what came next? Well, nobody would love what came next. So my message to you is very simple. There are those small things that we do and we find ourselves doing. It's us who belittles those things and put them in the category of small sins. But before Hashem, 
these are big things which can even bring about the flood. Well, we thank the Lord. The flood may not come this time, but who knows what will happen if we continue in this trajectory. Nevertheless, let's take action while we can. Let's take note of the opportunity that is before us that we may turn back to our God. The Bible says, least he may have mercy on us. Thank you all. Shabbat Shalom.